Welcome to CTC TV. I'm Bruce Fassbinder, and joining me is co-anchor Tony Evans. Thanks, Bruce. This month we'll visit the CTC Wellness Fair, walk the runway during the annual Foundation Fashion Show, and get an update from the Fine Arts Department. We'll also get a new appreciation for math, get a jump on summer registration, and celebrate the CTC speech team's national success. All this and much more on CTC TV. Wherever you are in the world, Central Texas College can turn your potential into success. Our students are active duty military and veterans. They're looking to move up in the ranks and into the workforce, overseas and stateside. CTC awards credit for military service and offers classes online and on military installations. Start your new mission at Central Texas College for students of the real world. CTC's Risk Management Department hosted the 12th Annual Wellness Fair, Eat the Best, Be the Best, Leave the Rest, the first week of April. The free event, which was co-sponsored by Seton Medical Center, featured more than 60 healthcare providers and vendors who conducted a variety of healthcare screenings and offered information on numerous healthcare issues, including cardiac care, spinal care, nutrition, and weight control. Exercise and fitness demonstrations were provided by Jazzercise, Legacy Martial Arts, Title Boxing, and the CTC Kinesiology Department. Other attractions of the Wellness Fair included massage therapy, planning for financial awareness, and a blood drive hosted by the Scott & White Blood Donor Center. Attendees had chances to win door prizes or bid on items during a silent auction in which proceeds benefit the CTC Foundation Scholarship Program. The Central Texas College speech and debate team capped off its season as the ninth best team in the country. The eight-member team earned a ninth place finish at the 105th Annual National Speech and Debate Tournament held in Nashville, Tennessee recently. CTC was one of more than 300 schools participating in the event hosted by Tennessee State University. The team compiled 100 points to earn its place among the 10 best speech teams in the country. Individual honors were earned by Joseph Barr, sophomore, who made the Final Four in debate by beating the University of Wisconsin in quarterfinals. Barr lost in the semifinals to Arizona State University, but finished as the ninth best debate speaker in the nation. Barr also was a quarterfinalist in extemporaneous speaking and impromptu speaking. He ended the competition as one of the top 20 competitors in the tournament. Other honors included freshman Nathan Van Zanten, earning second place in the nation in the congressional debate category. Sophomore Robert Borntrager finished in the top 30 in impromptu speaking. The team of Dakota Widener and Matt Reed, both freshmen, advanced to the quarterfinal round in team debate event. And sophomore Cat Victory advanced to the Elite Eight round of poetry interpretation and placed 25th in the nation out of more than 400 qualified competitors. The CTC speech and debate team qualified for the national championships by placing second in the 36th annual Texas speech championships held last December, then earning third place honors in the 26th annual regional championships held in Houston. There, CTC competed against 29 teams from South Dakota, Missouri, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. In the morning, students competed for prizes by participating in a variety of math fun activities including a math scavenger hunt, math puzzles, and problem solving challenge. Then at 12 p.m., a free screening of the movie Hidden Figures was held in the dome of the Mayborn Science Theater. The movie was followed by a round of Math Jeopardy that afternoon. Then guest speaker David Glasser presented an entertaining program, Your Brain is Built for Math. Glasser is a data scientist at Newton, a company offering integrated adaptive courseware for colleges and universities which was recently named one of the top 10 most innovative companies in education. CTC's Math Appreciation Day event was free and open to the public. The Fine Arts Department invites the public to its spring semester guest artist performance on April 30th starting at 7.30 p.m. in the Anderson Campus Center. Featured artist is classical pianist He Young Cho. She will present an evening of well-known works by Beethoven, Schubert, Liszt, and Mozart. Cho studied at Kyung Hee University in Seoul, Korea, where she received a bachelor's degree in music performance. 
She later received a full ride scholarship to earn a master's degree in music performance from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst and years later would earn a second master's degree in music performance from Baylor University. Cho has performed at the Piano Festival in Tivoli, Italy and earned second place honors at the Kigwong Piano Competition in Seoul, Korea in 2000. Five years later, she won first place in the Concerto Competition and would then perform with the University of Massachusetts Orchestra. Most recently, Cho served as a freelance accompanist at Texas State University, performed with the Killeen Korean Singers, and provides private piano lessons to aspiring students. Tickets for Cho's performance are $5 at the door. Proceeds benefit the CTC Concert Series Music Scholarship Fund. For more information, contact the CTC Fine Arts Department at 254-526-1572. In other fine arts news, the Music Faction will present a concert in the Gazebo on Wednesday, April 25th from 12 to 1 p.m. The lunchtime concert will feature the CTC Band, CTC Chorus, and individual student performers. The gazebo is located outside in the campus mall area between the computer science and academic buildings. The concert is free and open to the public. The CTC Career Center held its annual Spring Career Fair and Internship Expo this week. More than 30 companies and potential employers were on hand accepting resumes and providing information about job and internship possibilities. Job seekers met representatives from a variety of employment areas including business, information technology, healthcare, and law enforcement agencies, each offering part-time, full-time, and internship positions. The career fair served as an opportunity for students and the community to develop valuable contacts and broaden their job and internship search network. It also served those seeking a career change, a first job, and for transitioning military members. Students needing employment assistance can visit the CTC Career Center online. There they can post their resume and read job postings from area businesses. Or for other job seeking information, they can call the Career Center at 254-526-1106. Members of Psi Beta National Psychology Honor Society hosted the 14th Annual Psychology Symposium last week in Anderson Campus Center. The subject of this year's event was 21st century slavery, human trafficking. Psi Beta students opened the symposium with a presentation of their research findings on the matter and what their fellow students' beliefs were on the subject of child sex trafficking. They were followed by guest speaker Victoria Walker of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in Austin, who discussed why children in care are at risk for exploitation and how we can help protect and recover them. During her presentation, Walker noted the FBI National Crime Information Center reported 464,324 missing children last year alone. And of those, 43,452 were from Texas. She also noted of the 25,000 reported runaways last year, one in seven were likely victims of child sex trafficking. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children currently operates 22 programs related to missing and exploited children. You can learn more about protection and recovery at missingkids.org. Registration for summer classroom courses at CTC Central Campus is now open on WebAdvisor. Returning students who have a degree plan on file can register now while new students must first complete the admissions and advising process before registering online. Academic advisement for new students as well as current students looking to change their degree plan is underway in the Guidance and Counseling Office located at Student Services in Building 119. Summer One Semester Advisement is available Monday through Thursday from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and Friday 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. Students should book an advisement appointment online through the CTC website to save wait time. For Summer One five-week and ten-week classes which begin June 4th, Registration is open through May 25th. Late registration will be conducted May 29th through June 1st. Summer 2 five-week classes start July 9th, and the last day to register for these classes is July 6th. CTC's Evening and Weekend College program offers Friday classes in five- and ten-week terms. Registration for the five-week semester ends June 13th, with a class start date of June 8th. The 10-week semester runs June 8th through August 10th, and the last day to register is June 14th. A six-week Saturday session is open May 26th through June 30th, with registration ending May 31st. 
Saturday classes during the Summer 1 semester are also offered in 5, 8, and 10-week sessions starting June 9th. The last day to register for Saturday 5-week classes is June 13th, and registration ends June 14th for both 8- and 10-week Saturday classes. Summer 2 offers 5-week Saturday classes starting July 15th, and the last day to register for these classes is July 19th. Academic advisement for students taking Saturday classes is available Monday through Friday, now through June 4th, from 11.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the library. Students taking 8, 12, and 16-week online courses starting May 14th have until May 10th to register. The deadline to register for all summer online classes starting June 4th is May 31st. For online classes starting June 25th, the last day to register is June 21st. For online classes that begin July 9th, the registration deadline is July 5th. And for online courses beginning July 23rd, the deadline to register is July 19th. There is no late registration for online classes. Students taking classes at the CTC Fort Hood campus can register now for the summer term which runs May 14th through July 7th. Active duty military should use the Go Army Ed registration portal by May 13th, while dependents and civilians can register through May 17th. Students at the Fort Hood campus must also have a degree plan on file before registering. To be eligible for in-state tuition, active duty military personnel and their dependents must submit a military verification form if they are not using tuition assistance. Fort Hood campus walk-in registration and advisement is at Building 3201 on 72nd Street from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The 10th annual CTC Foundation Spring Fashion Show was held at the first Friday in April at the Colleen Civic and Conference Center, co-sponsored by Metroplex Health System and Seton Medical Center. The event serves as a fundraiser to benefit the CTC Nursing Scholarship Program. And for the first time, the event was held at evening with a dinner, fashion showcasing, the latest in spring and summer wear from Susan Marie's of Salado, Magnolias of Salado, Dillard's, Cavendur's, and Academy. Featuring models were CTC employees and local community leaders, as well as Fort Hood soldiers Diamond Ott, who recently graced the cover of the national publication Men's Health Magazine. Following a VIP reception, attendees were escorted to their tables by the Men in Pink, a group of nursing students and community members who assisted with coffee service, water and tea refills, and other needs of the table guest. In addition to the latest fashion, guests were treated to prize drawings and a silent auction to win many valuable prizes, including high-end fashion accessories, gift certificates, concert tickets, spa packages, and more. The Communications Department hosted its Spring Semester Speaker Showcase this month in the Campus Library. The event gave the top eight students in public speaking classes the chance to compete for prizes and display their skills in using various speaking formats like demonstrative, informative, and persuasive speeches. Seven of the eight finalists, five of which were students in the early college high school, competed in the final round. Winning first place was early college high school student Andrea Cavanaugh for her presentation on how teamwork can change the world. In second place was her classmate Ashanti Scott, who gave an informative speech on confronting your bullies, and earning third place was another early college high school student, Eileen Molina, who advised the crowd on how to choose their friends wisely. Honorable mention awards were presented to Tiana Bui, who spoke on the definition of friendship, Jason Dameron, who warned the crowd how social media is killing our kids, Rwanda Tawa gave an informative talk on how to keep an open mind to help others, and Lavia Todd, who presented a persuasive speech on legalizing marijuana. The speaker showcase was coordinated by CTC speech professor Victoria Moultrie. CTC Student Employee Assistance Program will host its annual Domestic Violence Awareness and Prevention Day event on Wednesday, April 25th in the Anderson Campus Center from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Numerous vendors from community service organizations specializing in the handling of domestic violence cases will be available to offer information on all aspects of domestic violence prevention and awareness. Guests can talk to vendors and pick up information on everything from warning signs of a potentially violent relationship, where and how to get help, the options available to those in, who need assistance and other relative information about domestic violence and breaking the cycle. 
Students and employees who seek confidential assistance with the problems of domestic violence, either as a victim, abuser, or secondary victim, can contact the CTC Student Employee Assistance Program at 254-526-1166. Central Texas College will hold its spring commencement ceremony on Friday, May 11th at the Bell County Expo Center. And for the first time, the ceremony will be an evening affair starting at 6.30 p.m. More than 300 students are scheduled to make the march across the stage and receive either their Associate of Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Science, or Certificate of Completion. Students planning to participate in the procession must attend one of the two scheduled graduation orientations to be held on May 8th and May 9th. Contact the graduation office at 254-526-1592 for more information. Earlier that day, the Nursing and Allied Health Department will host a pinning ceremony for nursing students completing the associate degree in nursing program this semester. Nurses will receive pins signifying their transition from a student nurse to a practicing nurse. The pinning ceremony will begin at 2 p.m. in the Anderson Campus Center and is free and open to the public. And prior to graduation, students must get through final exam week. This semester final exams will be administered May 7th through the 11th. The final exam schedule is available in the Spring Schedule Bulletin. To help students prepare for finals, the Academic Studio will host Study Up, an all-day event of free tutoring services, test preparation assistance, and the opportunity to finish end-of-semester projects. The Study Up will be held upstairs in the Student Center, Building 106, on Thursday, May 3rd, from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., and is free and open to all CTC students. CTC's Continuing Education Department will host a summer preview of its College for Kids classes and other programs on Saturday, April 28th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Central Campus Clear Creek Building, Building 136. During the preview, guests can meet the staff and instructors tour the facilities and register early for college for kids classes. Instructors will also perform hands-on demonstrations for kids throughout the event. College for Kids is in a summer enrichment program that runs June through August. It offers a variety of educational and entertaining classes for youngsters age 3 to 18, which will be held at the Clear Creek Building or at the Mayborn Science Theater. Hands-on learning is offered in topics such as science, arts and crafts, computers, language music and performing arts, cooking, robotics and exercise. The program also offers kids matinee shows at the Mayborn Science Theater throughout the summer. New classes along with returning favorites will be offered. A complete schedule will soon be available on the CTC Continuing Education webpage. The final Patio Cafe Cuisine Nights Dinner of the spring semester is next Friday, April 27th and features a Filipino cuisine. Students in the International Cuisine class will prepare each course of the meal and serve the dinner from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the Culinary Arts area of the Student Center. The menu for the evening will be posted next week on the CTC website under the link for CTC News. Reservations are required and can be made by calling the CTC Hospitality Department at 254-526-1515. The Culinary Arts Department also says let them eat cake as students in the wedding cake classes will offer up their final exams for the tasting. Students will be tasked with preparing a wedding cake and all students employees are invited to stop by the culinary arts area of the student center on Tuesday, May 8th to taste and judge each cake. Prizes will be awarded for the best in show, best tasting and the people's choice. The cakes will be on display available for sampling at 1.30 p.m. and will, the winners will be announced at 2 p.m. The last word on culinary arts is the traditional spring semester Iron Chef competition scheduled for May 3rd. Based on the television reality show, teams of culinary arts students will be challenged to prepare an appetizer, an entree, and dessert incorporating the same secret ingredient in each dish. Each team will consist of students from a variety of culinary classes including saucier, basic and intermediate food preparation, regional and international cuisine. Judges for the competition will sample a portion of each prepared item and render their decision based on flavor and aroma, presentation, originality, and use of the secret ingredient in each of the prepared food items. Not only will the students' cooking skills be on display, but their creativity and ability to think quickly will come into play since the three food items must be completed within a given time limit. 
The winning team will have each individual member's names engraved on a plaque to be displayed in the Culinary Arts Kitchen. Second and third place team members will each receive engraved medals. The Iron Chef contest will be held Thursday, May 3rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and is free and open to the public. Samples of each prepared dish will be available. The U.S. Army Recruiting and Retention College hosted a continuing education degree program signing ceremony at Fort Knox, Kentucky earlier this month to formalize a partnership with nine academic institutions including Central Texas College. The partnership is designed to support soldiers with a multitude of higher education degree options and serves as an expansion of existing U.S. Army Training and Doctoring Command schools credentialing opportunities. CTC and the other schools have agreed to partner with the Army to develop degree maps outlining where soldiers receive college credit for training for military institutions and what courses they must take for degree completion. These institutions also maintain tuition assistance caps. Each of the nine schools will offer different degree programs and degrees in which recruiters can take advantage of throughout their careers. CTC will offer associate degrees in general studies and applied management. The Kinesiology Department will host the Eagle Classic Tennis Tournament May 4th through 5th at the CTC Tennis Courts. The event is open to the public and players can participate in one or two events such as singles and then doubles. Entry fee is $20 to play one event and $25 to play two events. Men's and women's singles, doubles and mixed doubles will be played as well as junior boys and girls singles and doubles for players 17 and under. The entry form is available online at the Kinesiology webpage or at the CTC gym. Entry deadline is May 2nd. The department will also host the Spring Semester Eagle Trot 5K Run Walk on Friday, no, May 5th. The 3.1 mile race around campus starts at 9 a.m. at the CTC gym. All participants should report to the gym by 8.30 that morning. T-shirts will be awarded to the first 15 male and female runners and walkers who cross the finish line. To sign up for the Eagle Trot, stop by the gymnasium. A map of the 5K campus course can be found online at the Intramural Sports page on the CTC website. For more information on either the Eagle Classic Tennis Tournament or the Eagle Trot 5K, call the Kinesiology Department at 254-526-1495. CTC will recognize the newest members of its Honor Society next week with an induction ceremony of the Sigma Iota Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. Students will take an oath, sign the induction form, and receive certificates signifying their membership. In addition, the honored students will receive a gold key membership pin and have the honor of society notation of membership on their diploma and on their transcripts. They will also have the privilege of wearing gold regalia during the graduation ceremony to signify their Phi Theta Kappa membership. Phi Theta Kappa recognizes academic success to, of students at two-year colleges and provides opportunities for individual growth and development through honors, leadership, and service programming. Recognized by the American Association of Community Colleges, it is the largest honor society in American higher education with more than 2.5 million members and 1,275 chapters across the country and the world and is the official honor society of two-year colleges. The Sigma Iota chapter opened, the CTC, opened in CTC in 1968. Students are required to maintain at least a 3.5 grade point average and have completed at least 30 college credit hours at CTC. The induction ceremony is set for Friday, April 27th at 5 p.m. and is open to the public. The CTC Transfer Center will host its Spring Semester Transfer Day on Wednesday, April 25th in the Anderson Campus Center from 1 to 3 p.m. Students can meet representatives from numerous four-year universities to discuss transferring credits, degree plans, financial aid and scholarship opportunities, student housing, and other requirements to make a smooth transition when transferring to a four-year school. Some 40-plus schools from across Texas and the United States will be represented during the Transfer Day event. It is an excellent opportunity for students looking to continue their education at a four-year university or other school. Students can talk to representatives to make sure the credits they receive at CTC are on track with the degree plan for the school they are transferring to and learn about any and all entrance requirements. 
And for students who are undecided about a four-year school, Transfer Day allows them to pick up information from a variety of universities and the numerous degree programs each has to offer. The public is also invited to pick up material from the various school representatives. Before we close, here are some upcoming events of interest. Thanks for joining us on CTC TV. For Tony Evans, I'm Bruce Fassbinder. See you next month with more news and events around campus on CTC TV.